relatives wetu waongee na sisi kwa sababu yako Mr President wakasimama na wewe sisi tukaenda kwa mganga you portrayed Raila Amolo Dinga's image everywhere in this country calling him mganga mtu wa kitendawili mtu wa jielewi mtu wa fitina just for you to get votes let alone the person who carries that baggage in Mount Kenya ndio huyo mnataka kufanyia madharau allow me to say this we don't hate Rigathi Gashagwa and I want the media, nyinyi watu wote wa media mko hapa, put it very clear, we don't hate honorable Rigathi Gashagwa. Just because we have political difference imanishi tunamchukia, we hate you William Ruto, wewe ndio tunachukia. Si Gashagwa tunachukia, wewe ndio tunachukia. Na tukuchukie kwa sababu ati wewe umetoka community fulani, tunakuchukia kwa sababu ya zile vitu ambayo unafanyia wa Kenya. Ulipokuja katika uongozi utodas in 100 days things will have changed mama mboga mtu wa boda boda mtu wa mkokoteni hatapata haki yake mafuta itashuka what happened Mr President you campaigned calling yourself a Christian and promising Kenyans that whatever you say you will do you promised that you will never allow your deputy president to be humiliated and to be ashamed the way you did you you, you claimed you are ashamed Mr. President, Mr. William Samoy Ruto, wewe mwenye umetumia huyo huyo nyangawi na ito sijui kimani kimanogo. Ukaitumia kuenda kudharilisha huru muigai kenyata. Aman, mwanaume mzima anasimama na sema mimi nilitumika kumuaribia huru kenyata sasa natumia kuaribia gashagwa. We will not allow. We will not allow. Hakuna lida yoyote ambaye atadhalilishwa. And indeed if the deputy president regardi gashagwa akona shida. Let him be taken to court. Wacha koti ya muwe kama ameiba ama ajaiba. I remember when I was listening to presidential debates. Regardi gashagwa said he's a billionaire. He told Kenyans I am rich. Kwani regardi ya mekuja kutafuta uongozi yenye akonayo. Nini utajiri yenye akonayo in one year. Musitupime ujinga na musitupime upumbavu. Mr. President, you want to frustrate the people of Mount Kenya using your circle. We will also frustrate you. We will also frustrate you. And usidhani sisi ni mafala, we don't watch what you do. Saizu umeka baba hapa kwa makuapa yako. Wacha jaribu anguke hiyo kiti ya EU. Hiyo siku ndiyo utama Kenya. Let Raila fail that EU seat. He will never use people and dump them. Tunarudi kwa siyasa ya viongozi kufanyia wanainji kazi. Si vipindi na sarakasi. Mimi today I want to ask that MP from Kiboezi West. Because you are tabling a motion to impeach the deputy president, what have you done to the people of Kiboezi West? Kwa kwa maji hakuna, watu wanakufa nja, watu wanachangi wanainji yondi waeke chakula kwa meza. Children are not in school because they don't even have bursary. They don't know what is that. But wewe na kierere na, na, na mudomo mingi kama ya mwanamuke, para para mingi. Unenda una, una table motion. Let me tell you, you'll be used by Ruto and dumped. After this, Gashagwa is going nowhere. He'll be the deputy president. So I don't know if you'll kill yourself. Hama utajiaria kwa kitanda. We don't know what you'll do. Because Gashagwa is here to stay. And if he's not here to stay, you are all of you getting out of that parliament. The people of this country elected you to serve them. They elected you for service delivery. They elected you so that help ineza tetewa watoto waende shule. They elected you so that pafute ineza shuka ya petroli. Mutu wa boda boda apate. But wewe na kierele na midomo mingi na sarakasi na vipindi kwa sababu ya tumbo yako, you are paid peanuts to go and destroy the deputy president. We will destroy you more. Hai are you asking about security? Security maka chief. Security takataka. We don't care. Hata muwekewe muwekewe whatever. Your parliament is around you. We are not even going to deal you with the way we de dealt with you last time. If you are waiting us to come in parliament and storm it, mukona nini? We have a lot of information that things that those members of parliament we have done. And let me tell you muna mwaga unga tunamwaga zaidi. You attack the deputy president, we expose your dirty linens. And we are ready to expose them. Na kuna kitu mtafanya. Let me tell you, things are not going to be easy, the way you think. And the deputy president, I want to tell you this. Please feel comfortable. We, the daughters and the sons of the mountain and Kenyans at large, 
we are standing with you. We are not standing with you because of anything else. We are standing with you because this selekali imetuchosha. We are just wishing that it get disbanded and we go to the ballot paper and elect new leaders. Kwa sababu wale wabunge tulipata tulituma pale bungeni. They don't talk our issues. Look at what they discuss in parliament. Rubbish. Nothing. I was wondering where are those members of parliament wenye hawakukua wa kuanga hizo siku zingine miswada zenye ziko na manufaa kwa Kenya zikidiskasiwa lakini jana unapata wanaume wanangangania kuingia bungeni kwa sababu anataka kumngatua ngatua deputy president sisi tunawangatua muna muchomea tunachoma muna mwaga unga tunamwaga zaidi muna mvuruga tunawavuruga zaidi you cannot keep attacking innocent people you cannot it is not fair I, as a Kenyan citizen, I sit down and ask myself, when will ever this MP sit down and discuss that issue that ailed this country? Which day? Nisikugani? Au wabunge watahi kachini waseme, nilichagulua na mbunge wangu, watu wangu na paso ni wafanye hii kazi na hile. The only MP works in this Nairobi is Babu Owino and Tim Wanyonyi. Na wakina gakuya. Au ndo utasikia tuwa kitetea wanainchi. Na meja donk. Out of 17 constituency, only 4 MPs are present. The rest just are idling with the most lazy woman representative. Kama mutu wa javangu wa hende atoe bikini ya post, hakuna kitu ya mana na eza post. It is a shame to even be called a Kenyan at this time. And I'm a disappointed youth, I'm disappointed Kenyan. We didn't expect this. We expected leadership that will impact the people of this country. Sahi, kuna watoto wa darudi shule kwa sababu ya help. Madaktari wa metoka kugoma. Walimu wa metoka kugoma. Hii inti ya kujai kosa wiki ya mugomo. When will you serve us? Muta tu serve lini? Muta tu serve lini? Hai, aa. We are not going to allow. And the members of the press, allow me to address the people of Mount Kenya. Watu wa Mount Kenya, tumekua tukitumika for a very long time. Mutu wanakuja na vipindire na vizungu, muna mpatia kura. Munu wanakuja na ingia kanisa, muna ni mutu wa mungu, muna mpatia kura. This time around, before you go and vote, ebu ujulize vizuri, uyu mutu menda na kuchagua, nenda kumchagua, tanisaidia na nini. What the impact is that person going to do? Because these people are have terribly missed us. So, I want to address the people of Mount Kenya that hope next time when you're going to vote, you are not going to vote under tribal issue and under tribal differences, under political parties, you are going to elect leaders. And Kenyans at large. Wacha ifike time ya kuchagua wanainchi, wanainchi wachagwe viongozi amba wanafa. Viongozi amba wakona good conduct, good merits, good behaviors and good morals. You cannot be electing people with bipolar in parliament. Watu wanakaa tu chini hivi akili inaripuka, wanaanza kuongea matope. Which same member of parliament is there? Out of all those members of parliament, tuneza pata watu 50 amba wako nomo. You elected people with bipolar and mental issues. Watu wana misbehave in public, they reuter any, they speak anything, they don't care. They take promotions that they know they will trigger the security of this country. The other day, tumetoka mandamano ya majenzis. Mimi mwenyewe ni menda mandamano. And I want to say this confidently. Mimi nilienda mandamano na hata ikiundwa saizi nitatoka. Nitatoka kwa sababu sitambui serekali ya ruto. Nitatoka kwa sababu sitaki serekali. Na siga shagu wataniambia niende. Nimeenda mandamano because of poor governance. Nimeenda mandamano kwa sababu wata barabara za nyewanasema hakuna nyewanafanya. Nimeenda baraba, nimeenda kwa mandamano kwa sababu even help watoto wezi pata. Mulitoa linda mama. Ndiwa hii sasa mmetoa kazi kwa vijani, nini, kazi mtani. Kila kitu ambayo mzuri ambayo uruwa likuwa meacha mmetoa. That is the reason why we will, when the street calls us, we will get back there. Na mimi kama mtu mwenye alienda mandamano, I never had any day. The deputy president telling us to go. We went because we are tired with this regime. And even if the demonstrations are called tomorrow, I, Brenda Kangai, I'll be the first person to, to be in the streets. And I will mobilize fellow youths to go in the street and to demand their rights. This is going to be the last time we are going to elect leaders and take us for granted. We Kenyans will not allow atuta bebo ujinga na mutu yoyote.
utachaguliwa ufanyie watu kazi ama uende we are starting to vet mcs mps if you are not doing work enda hawezi kuna kula mishahara ya tax zetu zenye mna tu over tax na nyinyi mnaendelea kutukanyaga na kutudharau let me tell you this the members of mount kenya community let anyone dare achagu apitishe hiyo motion na kuambia utakuwa na lala state house unavaa huko unakunia huko kwa ground utaifika we will make it very hostile for you and i'm sorry for using that vulgar language but that is how the situation are in the ground that is the voice of mwananchi the moment you vote out rigadi kashagua usikanyage hiyo mlima tusikuone and thank you ndindi nyoro for not involving you in messy and in dirty politics walitaka kukutumia wakisema wewe unataka kukuwa deputy president but i thank you for respecting your elders and for honoring good conduct to the community ukakata and to our son kidhuri kindiki don't be used ruto is a man known of using and dumping kindiki i know you can be triggered maybe to arrest me because of what i've spoken but let me tell you hata wewe ile siku utakanyagwa shingo sisi sisi watoto wa mlima kenya sisi ndo tutasimama na wewe so at this time allow us to express our feeling and our frustration by this government jumlikuja na mkatu convince tu atagwe we don't hate you but we don't want the differences hizo kabila zingine zikipatana zikiongea mambo yao si ukabila mount kenya when it meets ni ukabila personally i'm married by a luya man when i go when the luya people have their celebration it is not tribal i go because i'm married there is that tribal i am a woman i didn't choose where to be born and where to be married at and also other kenyans so and our community the customs and traditions we must follow we have that courtesy to respect our leaders and to protect them when they need us hawa wakubwa wetu wana protectwa na sisi wadogo wao sisi ndo silaha yao na sisi ndo tunawalinda na hakuna mtu atatukana rigadhi gashagwa and i've told you my fans my followers allow me to stand with gashagwa this time because kitu gashagwa anafanyiwa saa hii na uiona baba akikuja kufanywa very soon you cannot convince me rigadhi gashagwa amesimama kwa gari na ruto akamuuza mount kenya anamfanyia hivyo uni convince that raila mwenye anaita muganga mtu akutenda wili hata kuja kutukano in very few months mtaona kimani ishungu akisimama kwa gari mtamuona akisimama kwa gari akisema mtu wa kitenda wili muganga alikuja kwa serikali yetu akayaribu tukawapea ministries you will see them but let me warn you mr william ruto sumekanyaga gashagwa wacha raila akose hiyo kitu ya eu utaama kenya wewe tumia raila vibaya muweke kwa makwapa yako aku defend lakini wacha ajaribu akose hiyo kitu ya eu utajua ku joke na raila na ku joke na fans wake it's totally different you will no joking with raila and joking with raila's people hizo ni vitu mbili tofauti we are watching you uombe mungu sana baba aende hiyo eu because if raila will miss that eu hiyo siku mtashati internet and i want now to call uh, the youths of this country through the press very soon we we'll have a total shutdown a total shutdown if rigadi gashagwa is leaving the office the entire parliament is leaving the office and we having a fresh election you cannot persecute one person our bebe mzigo yenu william ruto we know your game year 2027 You have failed to do things that you promised Kenyans. Sasa uchafu yako takataka yako yote unataka kubebesha mtu? We are not fools. I've never been bitter. I've not spoken in media for the last three months. But I am sure of what we can do and how what we can mobilize. Umetubeba ujinga, bro. <laughs> my my friend sumebe tubeba ujinga sisi ndo tutakubeba zaidi
Insulting Gashago is insulting us, the sons and daughters of Mount Kenya. Sisi tunasikia utungu zaidi yake. Kumvuruga hivi ni kutuvuruga. We don't hate Gashagwa, it is you tunachukia. And I want to repeat again, honorable Rigathi Gashagwa si wewe tunachukia. Na si wewe tukikataa kusikiza 2022, tukichagua Raila, tukafuata uhuru, tunachukia your boss William Ruto. Na hata tu force tumpende, kama anataka tumpende ni afanyie wanainchi, ile kazi walimchagua kufanya. Hafanyie mamamboga haki yake, mtu wa boda boda, harudishe kazi kwa vijana. Si mtu anatunyanyasa hapa na tax right center left, ameuza airport, ameuza kila kitu. Anataka hadi kutuuza sisi wenyewe. Sasa sisi tuzmame hapa tuseme Mr. President, Mr. President, what, what you are telling us? Nimi natuambia nini? You attack Gashagwa, we attack you. You damage Gashagwa, we damage you. Umvuruge tu kuvuruge. We are not going to give you peace. Hii nchi, William Ruto tutaishi vile unataka. The way you want us to live is the way we will live. Ukitaka kuchukiana na kila mtu na ku revenge kwa kila mtu revenge. Right now 95% of Kenyans hate you. Even your fellow Kalenjins, they see you are trash. Kisasa anza ku revenge kwa kila mtu. When Morara Kebaso comes out and tells Kenyans this is a stalled project, in the project ambayo serikali ilieka mabilioni na hii kufanywa, you arrest him and you take him in court. Is it a wrong for a youth to stand and speak the truth of this country? Ni nini hiyo wa Kenya nataka ni waulize leo hii? Ni nini hiyo ambayo Morara Kebaso ameonyesha ambayo sikuambia through my videos? What did I tell you? Ni nini sikuambia ambayo nini serikali imeiba na vitu Ruto ametenga na akafungua? I didn't go to the scene. But nini siku ambia? Go to my videos. The whole of last year was telling Kenyans, njia fulani jai tengenezwa, imekelewa do. I never went to the scene, but I told you. So you want us to sugarcoat you and to make you a good president? Well, unatunyanyasa, this is not that generation. Mimi si mama yangu. Mama yangu wakienda kushika bibiria kwa kanisa umdanganya, mimi wezi nidanganya. I am learned. I know how to read things and interpret things. You will lie to us, we will tell Kenyans, yo ni wongo. Yo ni wongo. Utadanganya wa Kenya sisi wenyeo tutasema yo ni wongo. Umewadanganya. You will arrest us, you will take us in prison, but we will get out. But finally the truth will be revealed. You cannot be taking Kenyans for granted. Wezi kuna tumia wa Kenya kama tishu alafu natupa. You promise you tenge, utenge, utenganishe. Hmm? Sasa Mr. President, watu wa media... Amemaliza kutenga, sasa ni kutenganisha watu. Umemaliza kutenga, 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 sasa umianza kutenganisha rigadhi kashagwa na watu wa Mount Kenya. Hmm? Umetenga hii, umetenga hewa. The next day utatutengea yesu. Utawambia mimi na watengia yesu wana kuja next year. Ukimaliza kutenga yesu, sasa unatenganisha tena. We know you are game plans, my friend. Saa hizi tumeziba ukuta zote, hakuna mahali utapitia. That ground will be very hostile. 2027 mwili ya Ruto ukipata kura zaidi ya ngiri tano. Tutakupeleka kotini tuambizo kura zimetoka wapi. You will be explaining to us Kenyans where you got those votes. Mr. President, I want to tell you if you get 5,000 votes, utasimamu tuambizo kura zimetoka wapi. Awa tu ngiri tano ndo tutataka kuwana wenye wame kuchagua. And the game plan of 2027 of safeguarding our vote is there. Because at this time, before I address even this media, I hope every youth Mwenye ananisikiza vizuri sana uko na kura. Usiku una comment online na una kura. Ati uchaguzi ineza hitu wakesho na uwezi simama kwa debe uchaguane. I feel so bad. I have been walking around Nairobi looking for my votes and telling the people I want the women rep. Nimekua geto wakuna kijijisi jaingia. Mimi nikienda wa bunge takataka ambao watu walikuwa na table yo motion. Hakuna mwenye anafanyia watu kazi. Nimewambia the only soba MP Nairobi. Babu wa wino. Timu wanyonyi, gakuya, mejadonk. Hawa ndo wanashugulika na ishi wananchi. Watu wa kipomoloa ma, ma, pale marigiti, wanatoka di kwa konsistensi zao, wanakuja kusimama na wananchi. They are doing overboard. Babu wa wino wanasikava kama embakasi kama zote. Wakisaidiana na wenzake. Na kuna sile queens wengine wako hii Nairobi wanajita ma women rep. Mutu ni kupiganga tu picha akiwa uti, akiwa ulaya. Kutupostia picha za jim. Tuwane vile unafanya mazoezi ya kukuja kutuibia kura, kutuibia mali. That is what you can do. We feel disappointed as Kenyans. We didn't vote you to, to do for us this way. And Mr. President, don't think we are afraid of getting to the street. We will be there. 
Very soon. You impeach Gashagwa, we show you dust. As your copy. As 